House of Representatives Committee on Defense has paid a visit to the theater of Operation Lapi Adole Madugri at Cantonment to have a foresight of the challenges facing soldier fighting insurgents. The House Committee was led by Baba Jimmy Benson, who pledged their full commitment to support the Nigerian Army in the cause of fighting terrorists in the Northeast by providing more equipment and manpower. Baba Jimmy, during the interview, made it known that the insurgent war which Nigeria is facing is not emanating only from Nigeria area, but external hands are also involved. He revealed this he revealed dislodged terrorists from Libya play many roles in supporting Boko Haram terrorizing Nigeria and neighboring country. The theater commander Major General Ulusheng Adeni briefed the committee on the operation. Uh, on television and on radio and newspapers, all the interest of every segment of Nigeria about this operation we thank them, we thank all of you for seeing to it that uh, things must move forward. It's a collective duty and uh, we are proud everybody is behind us. And uh, like I said, I will be giving you a briefing and uh, by God's grace, I believe this security in Nigeria will soon be a thing of the past by God's grace. Uh, indeed, Bono has to regain its title, which is the land of peace. So we're going here, we're going to meet uh, the National Assembly again and do things within the shortest possible time to bring back peace to this very peaceful state. Mobilization effect in Libya, um, that has caused a lot of chaos uh, along this uh, corridor. Uh, Bono being a state that is close to um, our neighboring states has uh, been the epicenter of this um, insurgency. Um, we've had their challenges, they do have challenges, uh, the armed forces is understaffed. So that's what we're, we're going to ensure that um, people are immediately recruited and trained so that they can man this um, geographical space and also properly uh, equipped. So that's what we're going to do. We also need to talk to sister states, sister countries to help assist uh, 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 police this area. This between March 2019 to date, we have experienced horrific and spontaneous attacks throughout the state. As I told the general commander, we are experiencing such attacks in a great geometric ratio. And therefore, I appreciate to Mr. President as well as the Indian military to revisit the strategy that they did during the 2016-2017 that we have almost celebrated the demise of the Boko Haram. So that we can end the insurgency. One most important thing that we need to do to take the fight into their anchors. The way I'm out of the book on is not to the soldiers. It's not to the people of the concept. It's not to the entire military. It's not to all of us. Indeed, the community are sharing information to the best of my Right, I still have with me Dixon Nusaje in the studio to respond very quickly to that clip. Now, I'm going to ask you two questions in one. First of all, is what the conversation we were having earlier when you talked about the welfare of soldiers. So uh, I needed to talk about how well are we taking care of our men, you know, um, who are always the forefront. And then secondly, the, you had that conversation where they mentioned that the war against uh, Boko Haram is not just internally, it's not, we're not just faced by the threat of Boko Haram internally, we also have external people who are infiltrating the country in terms of the security issues. What are your thoughts? Okay, uh, looking at the uh, motivations of our soldiers, the motivation is very, very low. 
and uh, that is why we need to look into the shell acronym you know in any given war uh, the so called the shell acronym uh, there are four things involved we have the the software we have the high hardware we have the environment then we have the liveware so this shell acronym makes a full blown full blown war or full blown uh, enemy engagement now the liveware which is uh, the uh, the man the soldier in the front line we are not concentrating on that because sometimes our government keeps saying they want to spend in billions spend in millions on equipment spending billions on software that's not the issue the liveware is going to man the software and the hardware. So we need to put in more money for the liveware because a soldier in the front line now, the minimum, uh, the maximum allowance he takes in a session of his salary is about 45,000 Naira. Uh, bringing it to a day, 1,500 Naira in a day. Bringing it to an hour, 342 Naira. Now, if the enemy's attack comes now and uh, this soldier have to engage the enemy for two, three hours, if he fight for two hours, maybe he will be paid 640 Naira to engage the enemy. That cannot get him a uh, complete launch. So that is where the uh, spirit of morale lies because they need to start paying these guys very well in the front line and also uh, the, uh, what's it called, um, the area of uh, motivations. What's your second question again? Yeah, the second one is the threats of Boko Haram. The, the, the threat of Boko Haram. Mm. Yes, Nigeria by default is a country naturally under threat because when you look around the uh, country governing us, they are all francophone speaking country. Nigeria is the only country sitting within these five countries from, uh, from uh, east, west, south and north. We are surrounded by francophone speaking country. That is a geographical threat naturally on its own. Now our borders are porous. We are not paying more attention on our immigration service to take care of our borders. We need to lock up our borders. And that is why I was so amazed and surprised by the government of the day to have granted the visa regime. When you know that our border is porous. Mm. A few weeks back, I saw some video about millions of people plying, uh, falling into Nigeria, coming into our ungoverned spaces, taking charge of our ungoverned spaces. And that is increasing the spirit of insecurity. One, the government need to shut down that visa regime. Close that application is not working because we have not gotten, uh, we've not got things right. Until we get things right before we open that visa, visa regime that is coming to Nigeria and get your visa. But we are faced with high speed of insecurity. The visa regime should be shut down. Otherwise, Nigeria will experience a high speed of insecurity. Then border security, our immigration should be uh, encouraged and should be motivated. Give them drones to patrol the ungoverned space. Because we have two types of migrants, the uh, regular and irregular migrants. That's right. The irregular migrants are people who don't have visas. The enemies will take vulnerability of our, our our borders uh, uh, loopholes. So the federal government should lock up our borders, then motivate our soldiers financial wise, and uh, the billions they want to use in buying these vehicles, they should split it to our soldiers fighting the Boko Haram. Mm. Then the general will be a better place. Thank you so very much, uh, Dixie Nosaji, for your thoughts there.